Well, my friends, that time of year has come upon us. It's a lovely season. I ain't talking about spring. I'm talking about the Sephora sale. I am, though, a good, a good fan of spring. A good fan? I'm a big fan. All right, so I know that this video is going to be long. I hope to my goodness it's not because it'll take, I don't know, 27, 19,000, I don't know, a lot of years to export on YouTube. And I don't want that to happen for the both of us. You know, we'll get the video up soon. You guys can shop everything sooner, know my recommendations, etc. I'm also going to be filming a haul today or maybe tomorrow, probably tomorrow. I don't really know. Um, but make sure that you are staying tuned for that because it'll be a good haul. Lots of good things. Lots of good things. Lots of recommendations coming your way. Grab a snack, grab a beverage, grab a cute ice coffee with a neon green straw. Grab whatever your heart desires and we'll go ahead and jump into the video. All right, let me get my notes here. I have my iPad pulled up because, honey, we have things to recommend. I'm going to do it in a, like, order. So I'm going to do skincare first, then makeup, and then probably perfumes. I don't want to do any hair products just because I feel like I don't buy that many, but I will maybe recommend some at the end, depending on like how long I've already been filming. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get started though. So the first thing is skincare. Actually, I use this one first. I have gone through, also the way that I'm doing this is like, if I've gone through these products more than once, if I use it in my everyday makeup routine, if I'm just like die hard, this is amazing. That's when I'm going to recommend something. It's not things that I just picked up and I'm like, mm, you know. Okay, so the first thing is this Ren Clean Skincare Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. If you've watched any of my videos, any of my Get Ready With Me's, any of my skincare, anything, um, this is a product I've used for a really long time. I get it off Sephora, I get it from Amazon, but whenever Amazon, I mean, whenever Sephora has a sale, I go ahead and get it from them because why would you not get, like, I'm a Rouge, so I get 20% off. So, like, that's a really good deal for me, you know? So, I go ahead and pick it up. I've gone through multiple of these. Like I said, it's an AHA toner, so it takes that dead skin off, makes your skin look right. It makes my skin look bright. It's not too harsh, doesn't burn my skin, doesn't dry me out, anything like that. But I do notice a difference in my skin when I don't use it. It looks a little bit more dull. My makeup doesn't go on as smoothly. Um, as smoothly? As smooth? I don't know. It's a clean skincare brand. I really love it. Enjoyed this product. It smells nice, and it also has one of those little press down things instead of like having to squirt out a toner or spray it or something, which I really like. The next thing after that is I use some ordinary products, which I can talk about in a different video or in like my skincare video, but they don't actually go on sale during the Sephora sale. Actually, you can't even put them in your cart um, because they're already so inexpensive. So after I use my ordinary products, I go in with my Ula Henriksen. I use the vitamin C serum and the only reason I didn't bring that over here is because it like brings up controversy because people are like, that's not as potent as it should be or like this did whatever to my skin. Whatever. It works for me. I like it. Um, I don't think that it's too expensive. Those are my thoughts on it. So if you're interested in a vitamin C serum or hearing me talk more about that, post a comment down below and I'll like answer any questions you have or tell you more about it. But I didn't post it or I didn't put it in this for that reason. So this is the Ula Henriksen C-Rush Brightening Gel Creme. I have gone through, I think, three or four of these and I'm almost through this one as you can see. Um, it smells absolutely wonderful. I got my mom hooked on it. She uses it all the time. She's gone through two. She's on her third one. We both just love this line. I think that the Ula Henriksen um, Truth line, everything that's like vitamin C and orange, does a wonderful job on like balancing my skin, making it look really good, making it look hydrated and shiny. My skin or my mom's skin looks so good all the time and like I'll be like, oh your skin looks good and she's like, oh thanks. It's my um, Ula Henriksen's vitamin C products. So we both really love this. I love the smell. Doesn't irritate my skin. Has never broken me out. Never led me astray. This used to be so popular and then it like vanished and nobody talks about it anymore. Your girl's still on it. Like this is a ride or die product for me. There are so many good moisturizers at the drugstore that like I understand you not wanting to buy it. But I promise if you try it, you will be hooked. Okay, so this is kind of a skincare slash makeup product. And I wish to my goodness that this was like mixed in a product already. I'm getting a call. Okay, I just got a call. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so anyways, this is the Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. I've talked about these for years. I got these since before I worked at Sephora, and I worked at Sephora in 2017, and I guarantee I haven't even gone through half of this. Like, I think I'm, like, down here somewhere, but I could definitely get, like, a million and ten more uses out of this. It lasts forever. Forever. If you're gonna, like, buy one thing that you think, oh, that's a really good idea, like, that sounds like something I would like, let this be it. I don't even tell you guys what it is. If you haven't seen it before, it's just like a little tiny bronzy, like it's a super bronze serum. I kind of like show a little swatch to you. I only use the world's smallest amount, like such a small amount. So this is what it looks like. And then you put it in your moisturizer, your foundation, whatever. And it just makes it super bronzy and glowy. It's stunning. 
And this combo together, honey, looks good. Love it so much. So I wish that that was already mixed, but this is really nice that it comes alone so you can mix it with anything too. Like it's just such a multi-purpose product. I think it's $36 or $38. Um, but like I said, I've had mine and I use it literally every day. Um, and I've had it since 2017 and it's 2021. So I mean like that's a long time, you know? Okay, so that's all the skincare that I have to share with you guys. Um, a lot of the other products are either the ordinary or they're just meh. I don't really like, or they're not even sold at Sephora. So let's go ahead and move into the makeup. The first brand I want to talk about, and it is kind of by brands because I tend to have like my favorite brands and stuff that I specifically buy from, is Charlotte Tilbury. The woman makes good makeup. Charlotte Tilbury is the woman for makeup. So I love her Light Wonder Foundation. I love her Wonder Glow. I love her everything. Like if Charlotte Tilbury has come out with it, I really, really like it. Um, the only thing is that like, I'm only talking about the products I use all the time like that are phenomenal so the first thing that i can't i can't live without like i cannot is the um charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter for a superstar youth glow i have mine in the shade 5 tan if you've heard anybody talk about this you know that like i've never heard anybody not like this like i just haven't um it bronzes your skin if you get a darker shade it just brings like the most light and life and luster and everything to your skin it looks phenomenal it is phenomenal I just adore this product. You can use it, you can use it before makeup, you can use it over top of your makeup as a highlighter. You can use it just alone to like give your skin a glowy, a glowy look. It looks healthy, it looks hydrated. It literally looks like you've been doing your skincare all the time and it's like that in a bottle. It is more expensive, but um, like I said, you can shop the sale right now or literally whenever. I've had this for probably about two years. It's probably expired, but I don't care. I'm gonna keep using it. Um, it's phenomenal. I just love this, could not live without this product. The next thing is a recent find from Charlotte Tilbury. I actually have a few recent finds from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the bronzer I spoke about in um, my last video. It's the Airbrush Bronzer, and it's matte. I usually don't go for anything matte, but this just, girl, she looks good. I have mine in the shade 2, and I actually picked up the shade 3. It's so soft. It's just like their um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. It's so soft. It's so easy to use. It is so just good, and it builds up really nicely. Never looks cakey. Never looks muddy. They have a large shade range. I know it's expensive, but it's also refillable, so that's nice. Next up, I have two of her blushes. My number one favorite blush from her I've used, I use literally every day. Like, I've put a, a large gent in this. It's the shade Ecstasy from her, and then I have the two um, highlighter wands that are blush shades. So, the shade Ecstasy, stunning, nice peachy shade. It literally blurs your skin, makes it look absolutely phenomenal. I have it on today, and I have the Peach Gasm Beauty Light Wand under it. It's this one. Um, I have pink gasm and I have peach gasm. I like peach gasm a whole lot more just because I like pink gear shades more. But if I'm in a pink mood, they both look stunning. They just provide a nice glow to your skin, give you a nice color. It's really nice and subtle. It's just pretty. Like, her products are just pretty. And they're very understated. Like, they're not, you never look cakey. You never look like you have too much makeup on. It's stunning. This blush, and I'll try to use, like, another blush. Um, and some, I have one that I'm going to recommend that I absolutely love. And I, but I'll try to use, like an hourglass blush or something else. And I'm just like, I like it, but it's not Charlotte Tilbury Ecstasy. Like this is just my holy grail. Next, this is not necessarily just like this particular palette, although this does have like special meaning to me because I wore this eyeshadow palette on the day that I got engaged to Caleb. I don't know why I felt like the need to specify to Caleb. Like I've never been engaged to anybody else. But anyways, um, this is the Exaggerize. But just in general, Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows, are phenomenal. They are beautiful. They go on really well. Never patchy. Always so creamy. They really look nice. They just are super nice. I love them. Could not recommend them more. So the last two Charlotte Tilbury products I have are the Unisex Healthy Glow All Year Hydrating Summer Tint Moisturizer. <sighs> she does love to put long names on stuff. Okay, she does. And then the um, Charlotte's Genius Magic Powder for under eyes and face. I never see anybody talk about this like literally ever. And her, I don't like Laura Mercier. I don't like Becca. I don't like any setting powders. I think that they make me look too cakey. I think they make your makeup look like you have a lot of makeup on. This doesn't have a funky smell, but I don't think it's a bad smell. And it's the best setting powder in the world. Like if you want your skin to look like absolutely flawless, like you do not have a flaw. You don't even know what a pore is. You've never seen a piece of acne in your whole life. That's right here. Um, this one is just really nice for summertime. It's kind of like her Hollywood Flawless Filter, but it's like it comes out white and then just kind of mixes with your skin tone. So I'll show you guys a little bit. You actually get 1.3, oh Lord, 1.3 fluid ounces. And then it just blends into like a really nice bronzy color. I will say if you have acne or, um, I don't know, just like texture on your skin, you may not like this because it is 
uh, not shimmery, but like a glowy product. So it kind of enhances texture. But if you don't, or you just want to use something in the summertime to make you get glow, you can put it on like specific areas of your face. You'll really like this. We are moving along to the brand Ilia. And I'm going to very quickly talk about this because I have spoken about this in I think like two videos now. This is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. Wonderful product. Gives you a nice glow. Makes it look really natural. It's actually what I have on today. It looks beautiful. Um, I have mine in the shade 12 Cocaine. It just looks really good. It has really nice skincare benefits in there. It's just a nice overall product. It's not too much coverage. It's not not enough coverage. It looks natural. It's beautiful. Has good ingredients. It's a winner for me. Then I have, I'm very specific about my concealer. If you don't know, I really am. I only like this one, the Bare Minerals, which I'm going to talk about. The Co says, okay, I like more than one. But until recently, I didn't like any of them. But this, anyway, is the Ilia True, True Skin Serum Concealer. And that's exactly what it is. It is a serum concealer. I have this on under my eyes. Mixed with the Bare Minerals I'm going to talk about. It looks beautiful. Provides really good coverage. It's just super nice. And it's... Like, it's just good. It doesn't crease under your eyes. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look janky. It's beautiful. So then I have the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. This is what the wand looks like. It reminds me a whole lot of the L'Oreal Telescopic one, which y'all know I'm literally obsessed with. So I just like this. It's a nice mascara if you're looking for one, but I do think that there are good options at the drugstore as well, obviously. Okay, moving on to Bare Minerals. I have four products from them. The first one is their bronzer. I actually just got a sample of this. This is the bronzer in the shade Warmth. I love it so much. I think it's so pretty. And um, it just goes on really nicely, and it's affordable, super cute nice shade range i mean like it's just a really nice bronzer um second i have the bare minerals foundation in the shade this is a complexion rescue hydrating foundation stick i had it in the shade six ginger um i mean it's just a literal foundation stick but i like it because you can control where it goes you can control the pigment and i've never seen any foundation blur your skin like this one it just blurs it out looks so nice beautiful chef's kiss Next, we have the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. This is what I have mixed with the Ilia under my eyes. I think that it looks absolutely beautiful. I think that it's so easy to use. I think it's just amazing. It's an amazing concealer. Like, it just looks so good. It's never cakey, never creases, never looks like too much concealer. You would love this concealer. I don't care what kind of skin you have, you will like this concealer. Next, I have a blush. This is the Bounce and Blur Blush in the shade Mauve Sunrise. It's stunning. This is a swatch of it. That was a horrible swatch. It's similar to the Charlotte Tilbury in the fact that it just, like, um, blurs your skin out and looks poreless and just so nice. So, I love that about it. Next, I'm going to go into another mascara. This is the, it's actually brand new. This is the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. It's a tubing mascara. I don't want to open this and show you the, um, actual applicator but it looks like the Ilia one kinda. I like this because it's tubing. That's literally the only reason I'm recommending this. It does a really nice job of lengthening your lashes but it's tubing so it's easy to get off. doesn't hurt your lashes underneath. I don't know if this is on Sephora anymore but this is the Marc Jacobs Nudist Lip Liner. It's the pout liner and if they still have it then you absolutely need it. It's the best shade and best lip liner I've ever used. I'm wearing it today as well. We're moving fast. Next, I have the Kosas Concealer. This is the Revealer Concealer. These do run dark. I have this in the shade 4. It's very, it looks really light in the bottle. On, it's dark and yellow. So, this is not my favorite um, shade. I ordered another shade. So, that'll be in the haul. But this concealer, same as the other ones. Really lightweight under the eyes. Doesn't crease. Looks beautiful. Has caffeine. Nice skincare benefits. Does the things. Wonderful. Okay. So, next, I have two eyeshadow products. This is the um, Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coat in the shade Nude. And that's exactly what it is. It's a top coat. It's what I have on my eyes today. It barely provides like literally any pigment whatsoever. But what it does, it's chef's kiss beautiful. It's really nice for just like subtle, subtle days. Next, I have the Tarlet M Bloom palette. This is a go-to palette for me. This is the, like, I have used this palette more than any other palette, I think, ever. It just has really nice shades. They're very creamy, very blendable. Just good, you know? Everyday shades, you need a palette, Tarte's got your back. Um, last makeup product. I have the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer Stick. This is really nice for the summertime. If you want a quick swap, swap, blend it out sort of thing. Super nice. Really easy. Like the packaging. You just throw it in there and go. You get a lot of product too. And you don't need much. I forgot to mention this with skincare, but this is actually really nice. This is the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. I know a lot of people have talked about this. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys too so you can see a little bit. 
um, I ordered a full size of this in the my other Sephora haul, but it's just a SPF with a lot of glow to it. It looks beautiful. Um, it's one of my favorite products ever for SPF. Okay, one of my friends came over, and so I've been sitting downstairs talking to her. Ow, responding to some emails and things like that. So I wanted to jump back in and finish doing the video. My hair looks crazy. Nobody talk about it. Anyway, I wanted to do perfumes because I am an avid connoisseur of perfume. And I have so many. Like I'd say that I have around 30, 40 perfumes. I know that's a lot. But like I said, I'm an avid connoisseur. Connoisseur? Connoisseur? I don't really know. Anyways, so I have picked four. And I wouldn't say that all these are my top favorites. But I think that these are really... Actually, I love all all of these very much but anyway well let's just talk about it so my number one recommendation to anybody ever my number one perfume in the entire world my ride or die my everything my the love of my life is this replica jazz club this sm i have on baccarat rouge 540 but jazz club does it for me and technically it's a male fragrance and i know that replica the mason margella perfumes are just like a little bit more expensive but perfumes are just an investment i think anyway i smell this on me always and I, I think that it is like the absolute best smell in the world it's a very deep fragrance it's not like a everyday going to brunch with the girls kind of fragrance unless you're like really stepping out if you're wearing leather to brunch this might be something that like you want to throw on um but I can't even explain to you, like, it's called Jazz Club. And it says the Provence and period is Brooklyn, 2013. Fragrance description, heady, heady, heady cocktails and cigars. And that's literally it. It's like if you were sitting at a jazz club and you close your eyes and you're in like a cute black slinky dress with a cow neck. And, you know, you have on like makeup from earlier that day, but like you still look real dang good. And like all the men around you, it's like in the 50s or the 60s. And, you know, like you're you've got your long cigarette and all the men around you are like trying to get with you and be like, you trying to be my girl? You trying to be my woman? You know, like those are the vibes. Those are, that was a kind of a horrible description, but, um, you know, it, it's just, oh man, it smells so good. Like you won the war, like America won the war and everybody goes out to the jazz club to celebrate and everybody's smoking cigars and everybody's having bourbon or whiskey and like the little glasses. And it's just a wonderful time. Just right here. This right here. The best memories associated with this. And I don't even live through the 50s or 60s. But I know that this is what it smells like. And it is phenomenal. My second recommendation is this Kaoli Deja Vu White Flower. Same. Like it's it's a um, muskier fragrance. But it's also very floral. But warm. It's a warm floral definitely. I want to say that it has patchouli notes. But still floral. It's like the daytime version. I would say that this is the daytime version of this. So they're very in like the same fragrance fra fragrance family. But this is more like wear it to brunch. Wear it on a date. Wear it out in the day. If you want to like walk by people and then be like. She smells so good. That's a new one. I also got the hair mist for that. Um, because you don't want to spray perfume in your hair too much. It's really drying. Um, the next one is the Valentino Donna Born to Run or Donna on the Run. Donna, what's it called? I don't even know. I don't really know. This is a new one I just picked up. And it has a very like fresh floral, but also still deeper at the same time kind of fragrance. And it smells glorious, like absolutely glorious. I love it so much. It's just a different kind of scent. And I'd seen so many people post about this and talk about this. And I was like, I don't know why I never wanted to pick it up. I think, honestly, the packaging kind of threw me off. But now that I have it, I'm like, okay, this is this is cute, you know. But it smells so good. I'm not good at, like, describing it, but phenomenal. Now, this one, I specifically remember getting this perfume. Like, I remember smelling it and then in a Ulta catalog and driving down Main Street. Actually, it wasn't Main Street. It was a street beside Main Street in my hometown. And I was smelling it while I was driving and I literally turned the vehicle around and was like, I'm going to Sephora right now to see if they have that perfume. And they had just got them in that day. And so I bought one immediately. And that was my first perfume that like spurred my love for other perfume perfumes. So this is uh, Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. And then usually I'm not a big fan of the Marc Jacobs fragrances, but this one specifically just has the best, best smell. And I wear this all throughout the spring and summer. It smells so fresh. It smells like 
This is what it smells like. It smells like the girl next door. But, like, she's way hotter than you could have ever imagined. It smells like she is the cutest girl in the world. But she's also the finest girl in the world. And she smells good. And she showers. And when she showers, she has that good body gel. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, she just takes good care of herself. She's in school. She's educated. Like, she just is something. You know? And she's like a prize. She's a prize. That's what she is. The girl who wears this is a, is a prize. Oh, man. This is my, these two, and like I said, I have Belcourt Rouge 540. I have a million other perfumes. These two are my number ones. Oh, this is like intoxicatingly, wonderfully, amazingly amazing. The only thing that I have a complaint about is the stupid this. Like, I hate the packaging. I hate the flower. Like, it takes up so much room. It's cute, but it takes up so much room. Okay, you guys, that are, that it, that is, that is. That's all my recommendations for the Sephora sale. I know this was a quick video, but I wanted to get it up quickly for you guys and like edit it quickly and like, you know, all the things um, so that you guys could have it and be shopping the things for the Sephora VIB sale. I can't talk today. Anyways, um, so I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you will get some of these recommendations. Leave down below what products you're looking forward to getting, what you purchased. If you have any of these, if you have like a perfume kind of scent that you think I would like, um, leave it down below. I probably already have it, but... If not, then I'll probably get it. Um, so, yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe before you leave. Other than that, well, no, not other than that. That's all I had to say. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.